Scotland's most southerly point. We've travelled up north, 200 miles. We're on the west coast. Doesn't need much talking from me or Alex. We'll just let the footage do the talking. And I'm actually out of breath. I've just been again. About. Forgot to mention what kind of fashion we're doing. To. <laughs> <sighs> Today, we're sea fishing in one of Scotland's many sea locks. Don't need to be talking too much for this introduction. I'd be the fact we're still not very good at it. We'll just let the footage do the talk. We'll be still right. How have you guys set up today, Alex? He pushed the pulley panel. So, for those that don't know, the panel part is you mean hook and hook. A smaller, in this case, you know, this guy, a chino, so a cox and roll chino hook, just sliding the line above it. That's your hook and hook. This basically just holds the bait in place. It's quite a long bait we'll be using. I'll show you that later on. And that just nicks into the top of the bait and just gives you a better bait presentation. Maybe hook length, which is about a third of the length of the length of the lead. Breakaway lead, clip down. Pulley part, you can see that, is at the top where your whole rig slides through the underlay. So it means that as soon as you hook a fish and you bring the fish maybe over rough ground, it's quite a tripod. Your lead's pulled right up to the top and it keeps out of the way of any stags. So if you're pulling over kelp or rocks or something like that, your lead's well out of the way and your fish is miles away. And it just gives a nice presentation for casting as well. What bait are we using? We've got a couple of baits. We've got uh, fresh mackerel and whiting. So we're going to switch between those. We might be a scad and a coli in there as well. So. What are we hoping for the day? <sighs> like, uh, mainly thornback race, I would think. Uh, a nice big thornback. We have had skate here in the past, so fingers crossed. We might be able to edit in a wee photo of that. Uh, but, but yeah, final rig. Nice aerodynamic clip down, cast a bullet. Well, cast a bullet if you can cast. Depending on the operator. Yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like cast like a brick, but we'll see. Uh, 
Yeah, paint it up. We'll get it. Yeah, well, yeah, this is a part that I feel a lot of people get a wee bit obsessed with and there's loads of tools out there, there's a baiting up tools that apparently make your, your bait uh, better but I prefer to keep it fairly simple, simple bait needle you know, that's pretty much all you need and for this case we're using a, a, a fillet macro, a small fillet macro slide the fillet on your needle yep. and then this is essential, this bit of kit here Bait elastic, and you'll go through absolutely tons of it, but it definitely helps. Secure your bait onto the hook, and it gives it a nice sausage-like shape. That one goes. Which is a little bit more aerodynamic when you're casting it. So don't be afraid to put quite a lot of this on. A lot of people think, oh, you put too much elastic on, you'll scare the fish, or you put the fish off. Uh, nah, you wouldn't. Just bind it on. Off. There you've got, it's not the neatest of presentation, I can see why people use baiting tools if they want it perfectly straight, uh, but nah, I don't have the patience for that, so yeah. Bit of a sausage, I'll show you how we hook it up, and we'll get it out. Yeah, when it comes to actually baiting the hook, you might do it differently, loads of people do it differently, but I like to put your main hooking point through the top of the bait, and slide it around the hook shank as much as you can. Bring it back out the bait. They want this hook down the bottom. You right, don't want it up here. So pull that all the way through. Turn it round, 180 degrees. Put it back into the bait. Slide it round again until it comes out as close to the bottom of that bait as possible. Pull the hook through. And then just pull the line over and you should just tighten up nicely. And that hook point sitting at the bottom of the bait. You then panel hook comes in at the top, wraps around, and just nicks in, this bait's a bit soft but you can just about see that, nicks in the top, got it tight, so there you go, there's a finished bait presentation, <laughs> like I said it's not the tidiest because we, we caught these macro yesterday and they've, they've been sitting in the fridge since then so they went a little bit soft but you get the idea, uh, clip down for maximum aerodynamicness. So yeah, let's, let's get out, see what happens. How good would that have been if the rod screamed off? Right cover for first fish. I don't think it's very big. It's always nice to get the first one early though. As long as it's not a dog fish. So often the blank saver. Oh, these might become a pain today. Anyway. Bite him, bite him. I don't know how he's me. Anyway, it's a start. Not a start I was hoping for, but yeah. blank's off.
Does it feel massive? No. <laughs> Does it feel like a lead weight in a hook? Oh, I see what it is. It's a nice little fish. What we got? Very spiky. Yeah, I suppose. There we go, a great gunner. Bonnie wee fish. See the spikes? End of the gill plate there. Oh, the shit on that, don't Tilt it towards you slightly. Nice one. There you go, big man. Sweet dab, well, big dab. How the hell did they get all that junk in this mouth? <laughs> Pretty wee bugger. Was a dab PB by quite a considerable margin, that. Happy days. Happy days indeed. Sure, but that's weather, huh? There it is. Right off, it's got it slightly off. Well done, big fella. Thank you. Not for more time. Going back grey in miniature. God knows how it got its name. Ah, oh, tripler. Right, get ash on the camera, you got it. Got it, mate, yeah. <laughs> Ask for dab. <laughs> there we go. See you of dab. Team effort that leg as well. Alex and I tied that earlier. Nice looking rig. What do you call that scratching rig? The dab rig. The dab rig. Top plenty of species of scratching rig here. There we go, the end of our, another day. A bit of a slow day, if I'm honest. We didn't quite get the, the numbers of fish that we were looking for. We expected a few more rays, and just a few more fish in general, to be fair. But when you're in surroundings like this, it, it does help to take this thing off it a little bit. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Whoever says that catching fish is a bonus, lies. However, Fishing places like this are fantastic. You just never know what you're going to get. And as a perfect example, take a look at this. Until next time, see ya. What's happening here? Have we hooked something a wee bit bigger than we were expecting? <laughs> a wee bit bigger, we've gone from a dab touching I don't know, 8 ounce to a...
think might have skate. This is conventional beach gear we're using. Uh, it's not skate gear, it's not special gear at all. So who can it one time? Uh, getting it to shores and all. We'll get that go though. Well, we'll also get that go up today. Make fun of them. <laughs> No, you're not. You're going to guide me. <laughs> you're going to help me. Hopefully, hopefully. Fingers crossed. I'd love to see What a big fella. I'm done, big fella. And that's all at you know. <laughs> that make up for the one you lost. That makes up for it. That makes up for it. I'll get a picture of me just now. It was literally not a knock on that rod. I must have just, literally just picked it up. It was just a Yeah. There's one happy angle. <laughs> sure is. Well done, mate. Thank you. Skate? <laughs> That's what we came for. Fish of the day, the Thornback Ray. <laughs> 